that actually can be two player called Colossus Down. As far as I know, this is the final game in the series so far, but I'm very, very excited. This music is really, really loud. We do not need it to be that loud. Let's play. We're gonna go with one player. But it's exciting to see that you could play with Agatha as well. And now, for the last piece of Mechanica, me. Initializing Mechanica. Ready. At long last, I can take my epic creation for a spin. Given that I made it from scrap, it's not bad. The truth is that Mechanica has turned out perfectly. When the people see me coming in my mech of destruction, they're going to lose it. As no one has ever paid any attention, they don't know I'm super intelligent. No one would suspect a seven-year-old girl could build a weapon like this. Well, time to show them. I'm going to destroy everything that's uncool, and if anyone tries to get in my way, they will disappear. The moment has arrived to begin our mission of destruction. Let's do this. Take off. Taking off. Look, her mom's in the rebel. <laughs> I'm super excited for this. It's not going to be like the other games. What a landing! Mechanica is so cool. The controller from the mutilating arm is loaded and ready to go. Looks like it'll work perfectly with the bike chain and the disc saw I installed on it. But to use it, we'll first have to configure the control panel. Okay, move the arm, press square. And while the other controls are loading, we can start our mission. I see. Oh, yes. I've waited so long for this moment. 
Time to destroy the school. You and me both. I've always hated this library. It's only got books on history and other stuff you have to memorize that isn't useful for anything. There aren't any books on science and technology. You know, the awesome stuff. Well, this is the end of the Borier books. Yes, Mechanica's propulsion controller has just finished loading. Seems like the air compression injectors for exploding the chewing gum are working perfectly. Let's just map jumping to the X button. And now let's destroy the library. Amazing. Hello, teacher. Please don't kill me. I don't know who you are, but please don't kill me. It's me, Nika. Nika Allen? Very same. But I thought you had been expelled. Also, where did you get that giant robot from? It's not a robot. I introduced you to Mecha Nika. It's a mech I constructed with... With it, I'm going to destroy everything I dislike. You made that. That's right. Didn't see that coming, did you? Especially as you never taught us anything useful, but I decided to learn cool stuff on my own. And look what I achieved without any help from this rubbish school. But Nika, what? You're not going to hurt me, are you? Mmm, I'll have to think about it. Or maybe I've already decided. Please, Nika, don't kill me. I promise I won't set any more exams if that's what you want. Do I have a choice? I don't think I have a choice. Although I am going to destroy this room. <gasps> Whoops! Oh, it's the teacher's turn! <laughs> you failed! I wonder if there's multiple endings depending on who you kill. That'd be cool. I'm loving this experience. Attention, a robot has entered the school and is causing serious damage. It is advised that everyone flee from the school immediately. If that's not an option, hide yourselves and don't come out until further notice. The controller from the exploding doll head cannon has finished. Kerosene deposit ready. Ignition ready. Glass sharpnel installed in the dark he doll heads. We're good to go. Use triangle to fire. Awesome.
This is the end for peas, cauliflower, and broccoli and lettuce. The new lunch menu comes complete with a whole load of chaos and destruction. And I've brought you the same appetizers to get this party started. Well, well, who do we have here, Mr. Director, no less? Miss Allen, was that really you that destroyed the school? What, you thought someone else was capable of creating something as amazing as Mechanica? Of course not, you've always been the best. I know. Perfect, the last Mechanica's controllers is ready. Now we can use Electrocuting Arm. Electro electrocuting arm, yep, with a microwave aerial, a few pieces of broken mirror, and some other bits. I made a machine that emits electric pulses. It'll fly anything or anyone. Hang on, let me show you. No, really, Miss Allen, there's no need. Honestly, no need. Come on, let's try it. How else are you going to see how amazing it is? We can emit a the pulses with circle. Let me live, Miss Ellen. You've already destroyed the school. You don't need to hurt me, too. I'll decide on that. Expelled from life. Look, his head's attached, detached from his body. Too easy. The classes are all done. For the minute. When I've completed my mission, I'll come back and rebuild the school just how I want it. But right now, there are still loads of things to destroy, so let's get on with it. All his brains and everything, it's awesome. Tuning complete. How ironic that we learned how to control the mech at school. Damn, some of Mechanica's exterior protective plates were damaged coming out of the cave. No problem, though. Thanks to Mechanica's damage absorp absorption system, we're fine. The system will min minimize the physical damage from any hits we take. What the system does is transform the impact from damage into heat, which is accumulated. But we can't let the heat level reach maximum or we'll explode. For that exact reason, I designed the Matter Recovery Machine. Thanks to that system, if Mechanica detects that it's about to explode, the recovery system will program a nano-manipulation of the space-time continuum so that Mechanica will regenerate after the explosion, with me still inside, of course. Impressive, right? Yeah, I know. It occurred to me that one day, after downing an entire bottle of Cognac Cola, Anyway, I don't fancy exploding. Probably an unpleasant experience. Every now and then we should use the, some of the coolant to bring the temperature down. Let's try it. 
Hold R1 to inject the coolant until the dial shows there is no more heat accumulated. Good. The dial says there's no heat accumulated, so we're good to go. By the way, the coolant is limited, so we'll need to keep filling up the tank or we'll run out. Attention everyone, this is a message for the entire population. A robot approximately 10 feet tall, a bit rusty, and in really bad mood has destroyed the school. At this point, the source of danger is heading towards the century of town, so all residents are advised to stay in their homes. Let the sentry forces do their job to protect you. We'll let them at least have a go. This is getting interesting. We should engage the defense modules. Let's start with the block. Press L1 and Mechanica will get into a block position to reduce damage that's received. But while you're in that position, we will move slowly, so we won't be able to attack. Alright, good. Now for the evasion module. Press L2 and we can inflate a stick of ultra-explosive chewing gum that explodes in a matter of milliseconds. Thanks to that propulsion effect, we'll move quickly and evade enemy strikes. With this move, as well as evading enemy blows, we can flatten the idiots that stand in our way. Nice. The defense modules are good and ready. Let's go see how good these security forces are at defending. Are you the people's security forces? No, but the police offered us loads of cash if we capture you and turn you in. What's up? Not making enough pay for your ladies of the night? What the hell are you talking about, stupid brat? I'm not a brat, my name is Nika Allen. And you'd better get out of the way unless you want to be extinguished. second game I played today that's like this. Not that I'm complaining, they're fun. It's just weird that I got more than one in the same day. grandma's house. Okay, this looks a lot like the actual police. Nika Ellen, get down from that robot right now. Enough with calling it a robot. A robot doesn't have a pilot. Mecha Nika is a mech, and I'm the pilot, understand? I guess. In any case, get down from that robot and hand yourself in, or we'll have to use force. Seriously, is it that difficult to understand? We'll have to crush you for being stupid or whatever.
Whoa, Mechanica's blast off completely leveled my house. It was on my list of things to destroy anyway, so that's one less thing to worry about. Okay. I don't feel so good, Miss Allen. I see. So what happens now? Oh, we just drop again? Sweet. Come and get the breadcrumbs. The wall is too thick to destroy by hitting it or firing the cannon at it. We'll have to find some way to reduce the rubble. So the answer was no electricity? Oh yes it is. We're unstoppable. We're destroying so much stuff with Mechanica. I like it. What? Fault detected. Converter disabled. Core energy empty. Ah, I forgot to turn on the scrap converter and the core has no energy. Oh well, we can turn it on now.
So Mechanica's core is connected to the four combat modules. Each of the modules gives access to extra powerful special attacks. But to unlock the special attacks we need energy. The converter we've enabled transforms scrap metal into energy for the core. So the more scraps we find, the more energy the core will have. Every time the core energy rises, we'll have access to new attacks to use whenever the fancy takes us. Easy, right? So if we want to be even more potential, we need more scrap. You know what I mean? I have some leftover screws and pieces of metal from when I was putting together Nika. I'll throw them into the converter and see how much energy that gives us. Conversion complete. At 25%, the scrap I threw in has got us up to the first energy level. Now we can activate one of the four special moves that Mika Nika was designed for. Let's take a look at them. The special move uses the mutilating radical saw, which is the dumb shredder. With that special move, Mechanica will auto-select a few enemies to chop into pieces, and with an ultra-fast reduce them to nothing before they even have a chance to blink. The special move uses paralyzing electro ray, electro brass, a flat electric ray that will fly fry anything that gets in our way. Power rain. If we activate the special circuit within the doll head cannon, we'll unlock Pyro Rain. With Pyro Rain, we can bombard the area with loads of highly destructive doll heads. We can't control where the heads fall, but the explosive potential is great, so it doesn't really matter. Ground Cracker. The special move using heavy object thruster is Ground Cracker. When we've unlocked it, we'll be able to use it to reverse the power we use to jump and crush whatever is beneath us. That's all of them. The four special moves available to us. Great names, right? Yeah, I came up with them. Right on. Which of all the special moves should we unlock? I'm gonna go with the dumb shredder. Dumb shredder unlocked. Use it if we need it. Activate the R2 to activate the energy flow. And then press square at the same time to execute dumb shredder. Once the attack is initiated, Mechanica will auto select some enemies. And then they will chop them into pieces one after another. Remember, R2 square. Great. We've got Mechanica's first special move enabled. By the way, if we use them right, we can create absolute havoc with special attacks. But when we use them, Mechanica's core will create a lot of heat. Mechanica's damage absorption system will protect us like it always has up until now. But if the heat level gets too high and we're close to the point of exploding, the energy circuits will be shut down. We won't be able to use special attacks. Got it? Mechanica will heat up when we use the attacks, just like when we get hit. So we'll need to keep an eye on the heat level and cool off from time to time. Nice one. From now on, let's co collect as much scrap as possible for more special attacks. Let's break as much stuff as we can and give our enemies a good beating so they give up everything they've got on them. Awesome. Let's get on with our destructive mission. I want to use the new special attack. Cool, Mechanica's core is working properly now, so we can get some serious stuff. The moment has arrived to send an official announcement of destruction to the entire world. That way, all responsible and useless and boring stuff will run and hide, and it'll be more fun seeking them out before we crush them. 
Let's see, to send the video, I need an internet connection, but Mika and Nika's used all its data for this month, so everything is really slow and I can't do a decent quality stream. Let's see if I can at least do a search. Cable, thick, for the internet, search. Loading. Yeah, it's definitely running slow. Okay, here we go. On the edge of town, there's a military complex which has a huge communications sentry. Nice one. Let's play the army a visit. They won't know what's hit them.
Mechanica's sensors are detecting movement, but I don't see anyone. Awesome Sandro. We're close to the military base now, but before we go in, let's convert all the scrap we've collected into energy from Mechanica's core. Damn, we don't have enough energy to enable a new special attack. Doesn't matter. Let's break everything we see and collect the metal we find. Ah, uh, we can also get more scrap out of enemies. If we land loads of consecutive blows, it'll cause more and more harm. And when we finally end them, and they'll give up anything they've got on them. That way we can get our hands on more scrap metal. The energy level of Mechanica will 
increase faster. Got it? Let's continue. Let's find the communication century so I can send out my manifesto of destruction to the entire world. Where do you think you're going, Nika Allen? Cool, I see you already know who I am. I'm going to the communications center you've got there. I need to, the thick cable to send something. Is this a joke, little girl? This is a military complex for adults only. Nika, don't touch that. It's for adults. You'll just hurt yourself. Nika, don't touch that either. You're still too little. Always the same story, while you old folk can't even use a touchscreen. You're a rude little girl. Perchance, could you build something like this mech of mass destruction? Well, funny you should mention it, because I've got a surprise for you. Just wait right there and I'll go get it. Can I destroy this too? No. Disappointing.
McDonald tank. Well, not bad. How do you like my tank? Tracks and missile launcher look pretty tough, although I would have painted them gray and orange like Mechanica. Anyway, there's no way you've optimized your machine for comfort. The best mech ever built. And I'm talking about Mechanica in case there was any confusion. You insolent little girl, I'm going to end you. Oh yeah? Try it. Um, how was I supposed to dodge that? Oh. Achievement. I'm not sure what it wants me to do here. doesn't seem to hit it so Oh the battery Hey what do you think you're doing overloading it Don't you come near those cables you hear No it is cool I I figured it out it just took me some damage to do it I'm I'm dumb for not realizing earlier, but... Is that all you've got? Not possible. What have you done to my war beast? Well, how to break it to you? Yeah, Mechanica, the great mech and of mass destruction, gave your shoebox on wheels a good kicking. What's happening? And now, explode. One pain in the arse less to worry about. Now we can enter the communications sentry and send out the manifesto. Let's go. Oh, I can show you pieces. Excellent.
just a second. Before we send any messages, we're going to convert all the scrap. Not enough. Hey you, listen up, this is important. I'm Nika Ellen, I'm seven years old and sick of uncool stuff. For that reason, I've initiated my mission to destroy everything I don't like. I've started with my house and school because everyone there treated me like an idiot. And now I'm going to deal with all other things I hate. Planned obsolescence makes me mad, I can't stand kill C or directly video games. I'm going to put an end to all these things. Anyone that gets in my way, you better be pre prepared. It's, if it's uncool, they'll disappear. If you're uncool, run and hide because no one can stop me. No one can stop Mechanica. Mwahahaha. <laughs> I bet everyone is losing it over my message. What now? Fault detected. Recovery machine damaged. <sighs> the matter... The recovery machine isn't working, and we, without it we can't regenerate if we explode. I'm so sick of that component shop. Seriously, the parts I buy from there last less and less. I'm going to go. I'm going to ground that Obsotech idiot and their planned obsolescence to dust. I just can't bear them. Anyway, I'm going to try to fix the recovery machine. Repair possible. Good news and bad news. The good news is that we can use some of the parts from the energy core to fix the recovery machine. That means we can re keep reappearing just like we've been doing the whole time. The bad news is if we remove those parts from the core to fix the recovery machine, the capacity core will be reduced and Mechanica won't be able to reach its maximum power no matter how much scrap we collect. That means we can only enable up to three special attacks, not four. Massively annoying, but if we don't repair the recovery machine and we explode, goodbye plan. It'd be like playing in permadeath mode if there were a thing in a, if we were in a video game that is. No checkpoints, starting again and again from the beginning of the level. If we die, that's it, the end of it. End of the road. Night, night, sleep tight forever. Anyway, we need to choose. So, do I just have to start the level over? Ugh, this is a big decision. I know Mechanica is really strong, but if we don't use the parts from the core to repair the matter recovery machine, next time we explode, we'll be the last, and we won't reappear ever again. Are we sure we're willing to take that risk? We don't need the matter re recovery machine, because we're not going to let anything happen to Mechanica. We'll keep feeding the energy core until we unlock all the special attacks. It's decided, and seeing as I'm going to live with a broken matter recovery machine, someone's going to pay. Let's head on over to the Obstel Tech offices and put an end to them.
This place is amazing. I've always wanted to come to the Neon District. It's so much like the cyberpunk cities from manga and the movies I like. Okay, okay, keep it together, Nika. Remember, we're here to smash things. Just remember how many times you've had to fix your computer on the servers while you've been working on projects. Every five minutes, some check chip exploded or the operating system got corrupted. Not only that, the microwave at home, Dad's blowtorch, Agatha's meat grinder, and now Mika, Nef Mika Nika's recovery machine. Everything breaks because of planned obsolescence, and I've had enough of it. It's time for it to end. The company that produces the devices and electrical components in the world is around here somewhere, so we're going to pop our, our head around the door to give them a piece of our mind. Welcome to the Neon District. I'm a robot from the Diplomacy Marketing and Monitoring Division at Opsotech. Opsotech, eh? That's good, I was hoping to speak with you. Wonderful. Our centers here in Metropolis have detected that the components used in the construction of your mecha are obsolete. Also, some of them are broken. Did you want to speak about acquiring new components? Why, so that they can break again in a couple weeks and I'll have to buy the same parts from you? Correct. Bang out of order. How do you sleep at night? Would you prefer me to show you the latest models of the combat vehicle that we here have here at Obstacle Tech? Nika Allen. That's right, isn't it? There are a lot of orders in our database in your name. Thank you for business. As a reward, Opsitech would like to offer you a discount should you buy one of the latest models of our line of combat vehicles. I'm going to destroy you. Threat detected. Negotiation failed. Protocol Opsor 01 initiated. Deploying security forces. Like, like the live stream. I hate all the guns in this game. I wish there were less.
to what happens now. What? I can't continue, so I I guess that's gonna be the end of my live stream for now. Cause I can't continue from that state. 